We're cooking with fire. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Adventures in Minecrafting! We've been busy, and so we are starting this episode out here at the planning wall. What have we done? Well, we've worked on the mansion. Yes, we completed that whole kitchen wing over there. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to begin filling out this inner part of the first floor of the mansion. But last episode, we, we ruined the church. I never thought that would be a good thing, but it was. I haven't killed a wither yet, but we're thinking about it. That's why we built the brewery. The brewing station. Yep, did that. Did that. Wheatfield, haven't done that. Gardens. Nope, just trees. And netherite tools and armor. Oh, we've got the armor, but we still need to work on getting the tools. We need to upgrade our mob farm. I've got a couple more here. We need to build a bee apiary. That needs to happen. Uh, what else do we need to do? Okay, well, this, this one right here, that one right there is what I want to be working on today. A smelter. Wait, why did I take it down? I'm, uh, I meant to leave it up there. I, I, I haven't done it yet. Okay, back up there. And today is going to be a challenge episode. How do we get up here? Here's our stairs. Uh, it's going to be a challenge episode because over here in our storage room, uh, behind this storage over here, we have all of the redstone. I went back here and all this. In fact, we can hop up here and you can see all of the... Oh, well, that didn't work. This is all the redstone that filters our items. And if we go over to this side of the storage area, back, 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 back here, there is nothing in here. And that is very much on purpose. What does it look like outside? Okay. Very much on purpose. There is a bed back here. We're going to pick that up because I want to challenge myself today to fit a super smelter into here. And not just any super smelter. Did you hear that? I, I, I totally, did, just a second. Hello? Hello? No glass in the windows yet, so we can hop out. Oh, look, look, skeleton horse. Hi, buddy. Do we have a saddle for you? Let's go find a saddle. So easily distracted. Can you put horse armor on a skeleton horse? Oh, you can get on it, skeleton horse. It's gonna kick me off. Uh, ow! Naughty horse. There we go. No, you can't put armor on it, but... Hey, we do that. No. Nope. Hey, look, Ma! I'm on a horse! <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to keep you, so for right now, that's your home. Happy skeleton horse. Ooh, look, another skeleton horse. Stay there, buddy. I'll come get you soon. And another one. Makes you wonder where the fourth one is. Now then, where were we? Oh, yes. We're going to build a smelter in this room. And I don't want to just build any smelter. I want to build a smelter that is self-sufficient. I want one that's producing its own fuel. Uh, and so let me put something together and I'll be right back. All right, so let me show you how this is gonna work. Uh, I love, first of all, I love when I'm walking in here. Uh, you can just see between the chests there that there's something going on in the background. I like that, I like that a lot. So over here's the input output system. This is where uh, this is where you put your stuff in. If you have something you want to smelt, like set, let's say a stack of sand, you want to turn that into glass, you put it right there. Uh, in a second, I'll show you how this is going to work. Um, then what you do is you turn the machine on, click that button, it will send that chest off and it will put all of that sand uh, or whatever it is you want to smelt into the machine. And then once it's smelted, it'll all end up there in the output chest. Uh, and I like this, I added a little light so when it's off, lights off when the system is on the light is on okay so let me let me take you inside 
and show you the show you the inner workings of this thing. So here's our access. Uh, here's our access door. Yes, we have lava. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but first, let's talk about these smelters. We have two rows of eight furnaces. So we have 16 furnaces in total here. It's not a massive smelter, um, but it will definitely smelt everything four times as fast as a single smelter will. Now, why didn't I put in a blast furnaces? Why did I use regular furnaces? Well, because you never, you never know what you're going to want to put in here, what you're going to want to smelt, and blast furnaces don't smelt everything, but furnaces do. And the fact that we're timesing the production rate by four, I think will be just fine. Now, you notice we have a line of hoppers coming out on both sides under every single furnace and that will all take down. So every time something smelts, it, it drops into the hopper and is output into the output chest. So if we go up top, you'll see, uh, we also have a hopper going down into every furnace and that's where this little hopper minecart is gonna come up. It's gonna go into the system and it's gonna go round and round and it's gonna drop evenly the number of items each into every furnace and then we also have you can see it through the water here we have another set of hoppers going into the side of each of the furnaces and that's where the fuel source goes we haven't built that yet we're gonna build a little bamboo farm up top here that's gonna drop right into that spot and right into that spot and fill all of these hoppers up with bamboo and if it overflows if there's too much bamboo for the system well that's why we put the lava. So let me show you a little bit more of the redstone here. We do have a couple powered rails just to keep it going up here because when you click, let's see here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break a block just so I can do it from up here, don't have to run around. Okay, when the machine is on, see how the light is on, when the machine is on, you'll notice that these tracks are just one big circle. So that hopper mine cart is just going to keep going round and round and round, and it's never going to leave. But when you turn it off, just like that, well, then that hopper mine cart is going to go around. It's going to come right back down to where it needs to be. Now, I did that for a reason because I don't know about you, but the sound of a railroad cart just going around and around in the place, the storage part of my base, the place where I am most of the time is going to drive me insane. So I wanted an ability to turn it off. Originally, I had a whole loading system here where you put your stuff into a chest and then it drained into the hopper, uh, into the hopper minecart, and then the hopper minecart would go every time they, uh, every time it was filled with stuff. But the problem was it was really difficult to turn that off. And I figured out, I just sort of slept on this after messing about with it, and I figured out sometimes the simplest method is the best. And having this on-off switch, see, when it's on, the cart's going, it's dropping all the stuff. When it's off, yeah, it's just sitting down there nice and quiet. I like it. So the next thing we need to do is build the fuel source system. So we're gonna build a little bamboo farm up here that's dropping into these water streams. And um, oh, before I show you that, I need to show you one other thing. Remember how we're always looking over here at the Mason's Lodge and you hear that sound? Yeah, yeah. These guys are okay, but these guys, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> while, uh, let's get out of here, it's noisy. It's noisy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you this. Okay, while I was, thank you. Uh, while I was, we'll go out here. <laughs> while I was building that smelter, a uh, zombie broke down this door and then broke down this door <laughs> and got in and just spent his time upstairs converting all of my masons back into zombie villagers. So 
I need to take care of that. So I'm going to take care of that really quick and uh, put those doors back on and I'll bring you right back. Hello, kitty. Aren't we glad we made this brewing station? With all of those zombified masons over there, we're going to need a whole lot of weakness potions. So let's start brewing those up. Click that. Click that. And we'll let that brew. How are we doing on golden apples? We've got one. So let's head out to our gold farm and get some more gold to make some more golden apples. Well, it looks like we've got a ton of gold nuggets up here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start uh, start the system here. Here's my on off switch. There we go. And let's turn the sounds down so that we are not blasted away by the sound of dying pigmen. Here they come. And meanwhile, let's turn all of these gold nuggets into golden ingots. So a couple stacks should get us about 16 golden apples. Should have some apples in here. Yep. Let's craft them up into golden apples. 19. Will that do the trick? Well, I certainly hope it will. Let's put our gold away. Let's put our unused apples away and go grab ourselves some Splash Potions of Weakness. Here's all the other ones we just brewed up. Hopefully that is enough. Let's get that out of there. Get some of those in my hot bar. And looks like it's night time. So let's have a little sleep. And then we will go over and cure up those masons. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can cure ourselves some masons and keep the oh listen to them all <laughs> listen to them all now i went ahead and did the trick that works there's a reason the zombies have never come through the front door and that's because there's carpet here they just can't get up that little ledge so i have re-added the doors and uh added a little uh little mat to wipe your feet on a simple piece of carpet will somehow solve all our problems. So hopefully we won't have any more zombies breaking in here. They might break down our doors, but they're not gonna... They're not gonna repossess our masons. Now, what I'm hoping... Can I do this and hit three of them at a time? I have a feeling I can only hit two of, a, of them at a time. Let's try it. Okay, so, does that get this guy? Yep, this guy, yes, this guy, nice. Okay, we can do three at a time, that'll save some potions. So let's hit right in the middle here. Okay, Lord willing, that should be all of them. And let's get back to working on that smelter. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what we've got inside here. Now, as much as I wanted to do it, I was not able to stuff a bamboo farm up in this space right here. What we've got in this space right here uh, is a little system so that the bamboo farm that I put uh, up top, up on the top floor, I figured we weren't going up there much. Let's go ahead and build a bamboo farm up there. And all of the bamboo from that feeds down into these two droppers. And there shouldn't be anything in there now. Um, and then those droppers shoot it out through the cobweb into the water stream, filling up, uh, filling up the int all the furnaces with bamboo. That one's filled, that one's filled, that one is getting there. And uh, when they get full, then it fills the whole hopper. So there is plenty of bamboo for air. Here comes some right now. Oh, look at it go. Now, why did I do it through the cobwebs? Well, without the cobwebs, the bamboo gets shot down and it ends up landing places like here and here and uh, on the track so that the hopper minecart picks it up and then that clogs up the whole system. So, 
this seemed to be the method that worked best. It's slow, but that doesn't matter because the system is already full of bamboo. And if it ever fills up entirely, we just pull out these dirt blocks and there's some nice hot lava in there to burn up all the extra item entities. Now, let me take you upstairs and show you what we've got on the second floor now. A lovely bamboo farm. Check it out. Got a hopper clock here. See, there you go. Just shot off and knocked down. Let me hop over here into the window to get out of the way. I put two water streams so there was a good chance of it getting caught in the water. Still not 100% efficient, but I did angle the water like this so that one of the machines puts it all in one hopper and the other machine puts it in that hopper or rather the farms so that is that's the bamboo farm it's just that simple uh, this is the same hopper clock that i used when i built the other bamboo farm down below in fact i really love the green up here it looks nice i added a couple potted plants just to fill it out a little bit more i really really like the feel of that um and so I think it's time to give it a test. What do you think? Let's grab 64 sand. Now, if I was, I did a little test beforehand here and I came over here, put 64 sand in a regular furnace, just a single furnace, and it took 12 minutes, 12 minutes. But this, well, I've already run a couple tests. See that? I already run a couple stacks. Didn't want to, didn't want to bring you in and not having tried it yet, so let's turn the machine on. Let's open up our minecart chest. Let's put the sand in. Let's push the button. And let's watch it roll in. It'll take just a couple seconds for the first ones to get all cooked up, smelted. But as soon as they start coming in, they come in about 16 at a time. And there they come. So here we go. Going to get up to 16. There's going to be a slight pause. That's because the other ones are cooking because we got 16 furnaces running, but that was it. That was a pause. It's over. It's done. And now it's going to get up to 32. And there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We can turn it off. Let the mine cart come back down here. 50 seconds, less than a minute to do that same amount of sand over here in a regular furnace would have been 12 minutes. I call that a success. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. Oh, wait, it's not going to do it. We need to go check on our masons. We Okay, I went ahead and put mats outside the doors because those zombies really want to get in here to those villagers. So let's head in. Let's see how everybody's looking. Oh, looks like everybody is nice and healed up. That's exactly how I like to see it. Let me show you what I did on the back doors here. Re-added the doors, but there's a mat outside, so there is no way. What are you looking at? There is no way. See here, watch this guy. We're going to watch this guy. He's going to try. He's going to try to come in here, but he's just not going to be able to do it. Yep. Neener, neener, neener. Ha! Ah. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. I Did I just not? Yeah, I just cut a hole in the roof. Well, if you like holes cut in roof, please be sure to cut holes cut roofs, whatever I'm supposed to say here. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, hey, guess what? We are almost to 50 subscribers. I don't even think, ooh, that's close. I don't even think like PewDiePie has that many. So pause it right now, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.